Here it is with Too Sexy Brian Christopher whipping Double J Jeff Jarrett into the corner. Jeff bounces off, atomic knee drop that rolls him in there again, and they're both out here. Jarrett and Christopher. These two had one heck of a match down there last Monday night at the Coliseum, Day. It was a situation where uh, Jerry Lawler had actually asked uh, Brian Christopher if he would step aside for a night so that he could have a rematch with uh, Jeff Jarrett after kind of a controversial ending in the way that Jeff uh, regained the unified title. Brian Christopher said, nope, not stepping aside for anybody. Tony Falk jumping in there. Uh, that has been happening more and more. Tony has been showing up yep. where he, he really should stay somewhere else. But... Uh, Anyway, he showed up in that match, too. Oh, and right there, Brian Christopher. Dex Jeff Jarrett that time. Looks like he had a chain that he made him. Yeah, threw something out of the ring. Tossed it out on the uh, floor there, and Brian climbing the ropes. On the top rope, and Jarrett is out. Drops that leg down on Double J, and he goes for the cover. But the referee is knocked out of this bout also. So Brian's got a cover right here, Dave. He's got a count of a half dozen at least. There's Bruno. He, he finally starts the count at two. He's back in there. And look at that. Morrell comes up. Frank Morrell. Frank Morrell was sitting at ringside during the entire match down there Monday night. Just kind of patiently watching. And uh, finally... I guess he has ants in his pants. He gets up and grabs a hold to the leg of uh, referee downtown Bruno. Well, I'm not sure about what he cost Brian the match there. I mean, uh, I, uh, who knows? But, uh, I mean, you know, Bruno was in the count, well into the yeah. count, and, and Christopher was maintaining the cover. And then all of a sudden, Morrell pulls him back, and the count stops. Now, uh, Christopher's mighty unhappy about the situation, too. Look out. Yeah, Jeff Jarrett Frank, behind. Yeah, right there. Jeff nails him. Hit Brian with the chain, and Morrell says, hey, just forget it. We'll talk later. Meanwhile, get this pin. One, two, three. And Jeff Jarrett, at that point, retained the unified world title. Well, so the way that he won the title and the way he defends it the first time, a bit of controversy, both involving Frank Morrell. In, oh, yeah, uh, in both that. times. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I suspect Brian, yeah, here he comes right here. Brian Christopher, I'm sure, has a few words about the situation. We'll talk to him, too sexy. Brian Christopher making his round. In the ringside of USWA Championship Wrestling, and Brian put up a great fight down there last Monday night. Yeah, Corey, I put up a great fight. But you know what? I think I put up more than a great fight. I think I put up enough to win the match, don't you? I think so. Because you saw that tape. But when you were watching that tape, did you see what I saw? Huh? Did you see? You did. Well, let me just tell you. I'm going to tell you what I saw because I watched it. But what I saw was I saw somebody that calls himself the world heavyweight champion not being much of a champion at all. I saw somebody that's supposed to be better than everybody else happen to resort to Tony Falk running out there to help him. And then, not only that, because Tony Falk didn't help him, I still had him beat. Then he had to have Frank Morrell help him to win that match. And Jeff Jarrett, you know, in the past, I started my wrestling career right here. And you know what? When I did, I learned a lot. I've learned a lot since then. I learned a lot about discipline, integrity, and I learned what it takes to win a match. And back then, I used to do whatever it took to win a match, just like you're doing now. But you're not doing it the right way. You're having all your stooges. That's what they are. Tony Falk, Frank Morrell, everybody out there, because I used to do it myself. You hear me? I used to do it myself, Jeff. But that's not the right way. That's not the right way to be a champion. I feel like I am the champion that everybody can respect, that everybody can look up to, because I know that I am better than you, Jeff Jarrett. Oh, yeah. 
Now, Frank Morrell, I can understand Tony Falk doing the things he does because he's nothing but a piece of trash. But you, Frank Morrell, I don't, I don't understand what's gotten into you. Now, last week, Frank Morrell comes out here and Frank Morrell has himself a little heart attack. Do you believe that? Huh? Right. At the time, I might have, for a second there, I thought, hey, this guy's having a heart attack. But then, I saw right through him, because Frank Morrell is nothing but Jeff Jarrett's little yes man. Frank Morrell is nothing but Jeff Jarrett's part-time chauffeur. He's the man that runs over there, hey, Frank, go get my hat. Oh, yes, Jeff. Oh, yes, Jeff. Hey, Frank, you want to pull it here to McDonald's? Oh, yes, Jeff. Whatever you say, Jeff. You'll do whatever Jeff Jarrett tells you to do, won't you, Frank? Yeah. And he told you, when things get bad, when Brian Christopher is about to beat me, when Brian Christopher is about to take my world belt, you come out there and save my neck, Frank. Well, now, Corey, they tell me that me and Jeff Jerry Lawler are co- number one contenders against Jeff Jett, right? That's correct. So me and Jerry Lawler have to face each other a week from Monday down there at the Coliseum to find out who gets a shot at Jeff Jett, right? That's exactly right. Well, I hate to tell you this, Jerry Lawler, but I want that belt. And you, Jerry Lawler, are gonna be nothing but a stepping stone for me. Because more times than not, we've been on the same side. But this is a different story. I gotta go through you to get to Jeff Jarrett. And that's what I'm gonna do. And Jeff Jarrett, not only am I gonna prove to everybody out here, everybody sitting at home, not only to you, I'm gonna prove it to myself that I should be the world heavyweight champion. And when I do that, Jeff, that's when I'm gonna laugh, boy. I'm gonna laugh, sissy. <laughs> You're gonna be my double J. Well, I think we just heard from a very determined and uh, very focused, too sexy, Brian Christopher. The bout will take place week from Monday, Monday night, May the 6th at the Mid-South Coliseum. We've got more action coming up here as USWA Championship Wrestling continues.